You can find tons of free Webflow templates on the Webflow Showcase site, and I've linked that down below, as well as all the templates that I'm gonna be showing in this video. But that's enough talking, we're gonna start right now. So number one on my list is a template called Pompeo, and I see this template being very useful if you're setting up an e-commerce store in particular. So this website allows you to uh, display a lot of different products, and I think that the overall look is very clean, it's well put together, and uh, obviously you're going to need you know, great pictures and great content in order to supplement this website, but I think that this website puts everything in place in order for you to make a very clean and well-functioning e-commerce website. That being said, I don't recommend Webflow for your e-commerce projects. I recommend um, using Shopify and Webflow in combination because Webflow's e-commerce capabilities are not quite there. But this website will easily allow you to link uh, the Webflow products to a Shopify site where they can then purchase the product and use the back end through Shopify. So the next template on the list is called Spoon. And I think this is an awesome template if you're in the restaurant industry uh, the catering industry or selling food or drink products and I think that this template is so good because first of all it looks amazing and the actual layout of the website is perfectly put together if you're trying to show off uh, the different services that you offer and show off some of your different food and drink products um, now this website has great pictures in place so it's going to be you know, a whole different job for you or the photographer to actually get photos this good. But overall, this template is going to have a lot of use cases for you. And I think that it's going to make a huge difference for you. Uh, it's going to give you some inspiration and also a great starting point for your next restaurant website. So the next template on the list is a portfolio website. And I think that this is a really cool um, way to basically, you know, display a person's accomplishments or hobbies anything that they might enjoy or want to show off. And the way that they lay this out is very simple. It's obviously easy to understand and navigate, but I think what's best about it is that it's going to give you a great starting point for basically filling in all of your own content and your own photos, and you're not going to have to go through you know, all the struggle of creating a CMS that talks about different things that you do and things that you like, and then you know a home page to be able to navigate to the CMS. Uh, this is a great starting point for any portfolio page or any website that's personalized to a person. Really quick, if you're enjoying the video and this is your first time here, subscribe to the channel for more content about growing your web design agency and tools for your Webflow projects. So the next template on the list is a portfolio website and I think that this is going to be a really good uh, template for you to use when you want to basically plug in photos and content for a person that wants to create a website that's personalized about them. Maybe it's a website that talks about their accomplishments, their hobbies, things that they enjoy. Maybe they're sharing photos, maybe they're writing blogs or posting vlogs. Um, you know, anything that might be really personal to uh, you know somebody that you're hiring, or maybe it's for yourself, but this is gonna make a great starting point for a portfolio website in any case. And the last website I'm gonna be showing off is called Shades. So this is for any uh, software company or SaaS product, which stands for Software as a Service. And this is going to be a great example website. It's only uh, one page, but I think that it looks really good and it's going to give you a really good starting basis for whatever software product you might be starting. It has a really clean hero section, which obviously you're going to be replacing with uh, whatever your tool is all about and whatever the, the software startup is actually about. But I think that the order of all the features and then the layout of the actual site is put together really nicely and it's going to save you the headache of trying to make the pricing section and all these other features uh, because it's already all laid out in a way that makes sense. So now I'm going to quickly show you actually what it looks like to clone a Webflow project and so when you actually go over to clone the project you can easily see that it moves right over to your Webflow account. From there you can customize the page just as you would any other project in Webflow, but you'll notice that the way that the websites are built and different templates are built might vary depending on the template. Some website templates are easier to use than others. You'll definitely notice that some templates have really complex interactions and other things that you aren't familiar with, especially when you first start out in Webflow. So you're definitely going to notice that some templates are a lot easier to use than others, and the reason for that is they're built by different people. So some templates might be built by 
pro Webflow users and maybe they've incorporated really complex interactions or they've used tools that you aren't familiar with. And in that case, you're going to only be able to do a limited amount of customizations on that actual section. Maybe you could switch out the photos and text, but you're not able to really change anything else about it. And that's okay. In that case, then either you have to accept the limitations of the customization or start from blank on that certain section and just build it from scratch the way that you would build it. And that way you could really have a custom site. And the last thing I want you to do with all these free templates is abuse them and you know give your clients an exact copy of these templates. I think that templates are a great tool for inspiration and they're a good starting place for certain projects but that's not to say that you should be copying the templates and then just giving them straight to your clients when you switched out a little bit of text here and there. I don't think that's the way to do it. It's not going to lead to converting websites or happy clients uh, in any situation. So thanks for watching through the video. I hope you found some value out of it and liked the templates that I showed off. And if you did, leave a like on the video and comment down below which ones you like and what you want to see in future videos. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.